to RPV resonance chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on organometallic chemistry. So this is the another lecture in organometallic chemistry. This is very important topic. Uh, that is nothing but a uh, calculation of uh, number of metal metal bonds. Calculation of number of metal metal bonds. Okay. So how to calculate the number of metal metal bonds in uh, like a plenty of organometallic compounds? Plenty of organometallic compounds. Now I'll give the very simple trick to determine the like number of metal metal bonds in uh, organo organometallic compounds. So these are the examples for calculating the metal metal bonds. Now let's move on to the like basic introduction regarding to the metal metal bonds. Then we solve the those problems uh, uh, one by one very regularly. Okay. Now let's move on to the formula for the metal metal bonds. So generally metal metal bonds uh, was calculated in the like uh, metal carbonyl systems. So the metal carbonyl system it was classified into two types uh, lower nuclear metal carbonyls and higher nuclear metal carbonyls. Now we are discussing about lower nuclear metal carbonyls. So the lower nuclear metal carbonyls uh, that is uh, mainly simply it is a uh, represented as a four number of metal atoms okay if up to four uh, four metal centers are there so that is the lower nuclear met, uh, metal carbonyls if uh, more than four four metals are present uh, then it is uh, same, uh, then it's said to be higher nuclear metal carbonyls or higher nuclear organometallic compounds now so all the examples are comes under lower nuclear metal carbonyls uh, so the for the lower nuclear metal carbonyls uh, the calculation of a number of metal metal bonds is equal to the 18m minus uh, x by 2 so very simply formula very simple formula so for the calculation of number of metal metal bonds uh, is equal to the 18n minus x by 2 so here n is equal to number of metal atoms number of metal atoms okay so now in first, first example number n is equal to second example two third fourth example three fifth example four based on the number of metal atoms uh, so here n is equal to number of metal atoms now x is equal to total number of uh, total number of valency electrons total number of valency electrons okay so this is the simple formula for uh, uh, predicting the number of metal metal bonds in organometallic compounds i think it is clear so metal metal bonds is equal to 18n minus x by 2 very simple formula very uh, like a very simple formula now let us solve the one problem for more clarity so that is the mn2 co10 so very simple formula okay so this is the mn2 co10 okay before going to the formula we will calculate the total number of valence electron that is better for uh, simple calculation okay so mn is comes under uh, like a mn this is the s2 d5 total uh, like valence electrons are metal is a 7 so 2 7s are 14 okay this is the total electron calculation method according to the 18 electron rule okay so now so 10 carbonyls are there 10 twos are 20 electrons totally 34 valency electrons are present 34 valency electrons are present so simply so now here 34 valency electrons are present now we will calculate the x value x is equal to 34 now let's move on to the metal metal bond calculation so metal metal bonds is equal to so 18 into n is nothing but number of metal atoms now here two metal atoms are there 18 to 18 into 2 minus x value x is nothing but total valency electrons that is 34 by 2 so 18 twos are 36 36 minus 34 by 2 so 36 minus 34 that is a 2 2 by 2 that indicates uh, only one metal metal bond is there only one metal metal bond is observed so the structure of mn like this okay so this is the only one metal metal bond okay so now that metal metal bond manganese manganese bond okay so here mn2 co10 so these five are carbonyl groups these five are carbonyl groups this is the method to predict the total number of metal metal bonds in organometallic compounds very pretty easier pretty, pretty easier uh, methodology to uh, find the number of metal metal bonds now let's move on to the uh, some other examples that is a uh, benefit to us i think it is clear okay now the second example very simple one so co2 CO taken twice, okay. So octa carbonyl and dicobalt, dicobalt octa carbonyl. Simply, so total our like uh, total valency electrons. Uh, cobalt is uh, s two d seven, that is a nine electron. Two nines are eighteen electrons from uh, cobalt metal and sixteen electron from carbonyl. Eight carbonyl ligands. So totally it is thirty four. So thirty four electrons. So simply metal metal bonds is equal to like eighteen two minus thirty four by two. That is thirty six minus thirty four by two. So it is equal to the one. So here also we will get the like a single cobalt cobalt metal bond cobalt cobalt metal bond. So three carbonyl three terminal carbonyls. 
but uh, two bridged carbonyls. So here we observe the bridged carbonyl according to the IR spectroscopy data. IR spectroscopy data it is in the form of solid okay so in case of solid we will get the these kind of two bridge ligands in co2 co8 ligand okay so whenever these co2 co8 uh, dissolve into the like a simple sol solvent uh, that is any hexane okay so co2 co8 is uh, so dissolved into any hexane so these two terminal bonds these two sorry these two bridged bonds uh, becomes a terminal co co so four carbonyls are present Four carbonyls are present. So this is the CO2 CO8 in solid state. So this is the CO2 CO8 in solution state. These two are existed based on the IR spectroscopy data. I think it is clear. Okay. So in both the cases, metal metal bonds is only one. So this is the metal metal bond. Okay. So the metal metal bonds is both the cases only one. Okay. Now let's look at another problems that is Fe2 CO9 and Fe3 CO12. So based on the simple formula, we can predict the so total number of formulas uh, metal metal bonds. Fe2 CO9. So here iron belongs to S2 D6 that means uh, 8, uh, 2 8s are 16 electrons and 9 2s are 18 electrons. Here also 34. Here also 34. So number of metal metal bonds is equal to 18 2s are 36 minus 34 by 2 that is 2 by 2 only one metal metal bond is observed. So iron, iron. So single metal metal bond is observed. So but here three, three carbonyls are there. Three bridged carbonyls are present. Three bridged carbonyls are present. This is the like a uh, original structure of Fe2 CO9. Fe2 CO9. Let's look down uh, another formula, another problem that is Fe3 CO taken 12. So very simple formula. Okay. So that is a, uh, it is belongs to lower nuclear. That's why we will calculate the same formula. So now first of all, we will calculate the like uh, valency electrons. So three eights are 24. 12 twos are 24 totally 48 are valency electrons okay now let's move on to the metal metal bond formula 18 into 3 minus x is nothing but 48 by 2 18 threes are 54 minus 48 by 2 that is a 6 by 2 three metal metal bonds are observed three metal metal bonds okay so three metal metal bonds uh, cannot appear like this sometimes okay based on the uh, based on the ergonometallic compound it appears like this generally metal 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 bonds in metal carbonyls uh, appears like this three metals are there so three metal metal bonds appears like this so th this is the three metal metal bond so one metal which having the like four terminal carbonyls and the three me two metals it having only three terminal carbonyls along with uh, two bridged carbonyls so this is the structure of uh, fe3co12 this is the structure of fe3co12 very pretty easy problems now let's move on to the fifth one i think it is clear okay Okay, now next problem that is the RE4, RE4, H4, CO taken 12 times, CO taken 12 times. Here four rehiniums are there, four rehiniums also comes under the lower nuclear family. So this is the lower nuclear metal carbonyl. Okay, so now here, uh, first of all, we will calculate the total valency electrons, total valency electrons. So simply, so rehenium it comes under uh, manganese technetium rehenium. Okay, so now here it is comes under manganese family S2D5. Total uh, valence electron per rehenium atom is uh, seven electrons. Okay, so four atoms are there. Four sevens are twenty-eight. Okay, now four hydrogens are there. So four electrons. Now twelve carbonyls are there. Twelve twos are twenty-four. Twelve twos are twenty-four. So twelve sixteen. 56 electrons. This is the total valency electron. Total valency electron X is equal to 56. Now let's calculate the like uh, metal metal bonds. So here metal metal bonds 8 into 14, 18 into 14 minus uh, X is equal to 56 by 2. Okay, 18 for the 72 minus 56 by 2. Very simple formula. Okay, so 72, 56. Uh, almost all it is um, like a 16 by 2, 8 bonds. 8 metal metal bonds are there. So simply, so in case of any tetranuclear compounds, so metal metal carbonyls are familiar with the six, but here we will get the eight. So now how to draw the so those metal metal carbonyl six bonds? Generally, four metals are present at tetranuclear complex. So six uh, generally it it comes from the six metal metal bonds. Okay. Now here one, two, three, four. So four like this and remaining four like this. Okay, so that is the six metal metal bonds observed in tetranuclear complex. But here we observed eight, 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 eight metal metal bonds. So that indicates here it appears like this. Re, Re, Re. One, two, three, four. 
five, six. Uh, now one is in the form of double bonds. Two are in the form of double bonds. So this is the rhenium structure. So Re four, H four, CO taken twelve times. CO taken twelve times. So this is the fifth problem. Now let's move on to the like another problem that is nothing but a sixth problem. Okay, so eta phi Cp, Mo taken twice, Co taken twice, totally it is taken twice, totally it is taken twice. Then how to find the these kind of mighties uh, metal metal bonds? So first of all, you can calculate the like uh, total valency electron in the square bracket. Okay, so phi phi for Cp and the molybdenum it comes from chromium family so s1 d5 that is a six electrons now carbonyl each carbonyl it contributes two electrons here two carbonyls are there four electrons are contributed it contributes the four electrons so totally it was multiplied by the two so why because so the total atoms are repeated so simply it is written as a two five sa plus a two six sa plus a two four sa Okay, now here 2 5s are 10, 2 6s are 12, 2 4 are 8. So totally 12 plus 8, 20, 20 plus 10, 30. So 30 total valency electrons, x value is equal to 30. So then we can simply calculate the, so those metal metal bonds are simply metal metal bonds is equal to 18 into total metal atoms. Here it seems to be only one, but it is square bracket, it has the two, that, that means twice of the metals are there, 18 2s are minus 30 by 2 so that is a 36 minus 30 by 2 so simply here 6 by 2 3 metal metal bonds are there so that is a molybdenum molybdenum having the 3 metal metal bonds simply so the structure like this so 2 cps are there one cp like this another cp like this so two carbonyls like this so this is the simplest structure of a uh, problem number 6 now let's look at the problem number 7 so eta 4 c4 h4 taken twice fe2 co taken twice Fu2 CO taken twice. So simply, so first of all, we will calculate the our uh, familiar way that is the total number of valence electron. Here eta 4 is there in the neutral method. So 4 2s are 8, 2 into 4, 8. Now two metals are there. So iron uh, iron uh, valence electrons are S2 D6, that is 8 electrons. So 2 8s are 16. Now three carbonyls are there, 3 2s are 6. Okay, so simply 6, 6, 12, 20. Total 30 electrons. Total 30 electrons. Now, according to the metal metal bond formula, 36 minus 30 by 2. So, 36 minus 30 by 2. So, here also we will get the 6 by 2. 3 metal metal bonds. Here also we will get 3 metal metal bonds. So, this is the 7th formula. 7th problem. Okay, now let's move on to the some other different type of problems. Some other different type of problems. Eight, sixteen, six. Okay, clear. Now, some other different problems. So now here, up to here, we will calculate the total number of metal metal bonds. Okay, but here they are given the metal metal bonds, sir, but they are hiding the some positions or some number of ligands or metal atom position. Okay, so uh, with the help of uh, our metal metal bonds as well as eighteen electron rule, we can easily find out uh, those missing terms or those missing numbers those missing number of ligand atoms we can easily predict it now i'll explain those ways also okay now the uh, uh, like uh, example number 8 uh, so they are given the like eta phi c5 h5 take eta phi c5 h5 so mn co x times so they didn't given the total number of like uh, uh, how many number of carbonyls are present they didn't given the how many number of uh, carbonyls are present this is the taken twice okay so but they are given the like metal metal bonds uh, two but they are given the like uh, side information metal metal bonds are uh, two that means uh, manganese manganese having the two metal metal bonds two metal metal bonds okay now let's uh, let's solve the problem so very simple solution okay so these kind of problems are very pretty easier okay now they are given the metal metal bonds so the, already they are given the metal metal bonds and we know that uh, like each each and every metal as well as ligand uh, electron contribution the, then we will hide the that positions taken as x uh, then we can easily find out the those hiding number of uh, uh, carbonyl ligands okay eta phi means phi electrons now man, uh, like manganese is the seven electron donor 
plus uh, x that means uh, how many number of carbonyls are present we don't know so x into 2 so each carbonyl contributes to two electrons okay so this is the like a total number of twice okay so this is the total valency electron so the total valency electrons uh, are equal to the two metals if it is a two metal so two metals that is equal to this 36 if one metal 18 into 1 18 so if two metals 36 four three metals 54 four metals are 72 that is the lower nuclear lower nuclear system so here we have only two metals that's why it is equal to the 36 that's why it is equal to the 36 along with that okay the total number of electrons is equal to the total valency electrons plus metal metal bonds okay so here metal metal bonds okay so if one metal metal bond is there two electrons are contributed if two metal metal bonds are there four electrons are contributed if three metal metal bonds are there six electrons if four metal metal bonds are there so eight electrons this is the simple there okay so now simply uh, this is the total valency electrons so that is nothing but valency electrons plus metal metal bonds uh, is equal to the like a total total electrons okay now here 2 into 5 plus 2 into 7 plus 2 to the 4 into x plus so two two metal metal bonds are there if metal metal bonds are 2 then electrons are 4 so it is equal to the 36 okay 2 5 is a 10 plus 2 7 is a 14 plus 4 x plus 4 is equal to 36 okay 10 plus 14 24 24 plus 4 28 28 plus 4 x is equal to 36 4 x is equal to 36 minus 28 that is equal to the 8 so 4 x is equal to 8 then x is equal to 8 by 4 2 so here the number of carbonyls x is equal to 2 so then the system molecular formula like this the structure of the system also very uh, interesting one so mn mn so here metal metal bonds are two so then it having the uh, like a cp one cp like this one cp like this so here are two carbonyls two carbonyls based on the like a case studies we can predict whether it is a bridged ligand or not okay now now onwards we don't need okay now let's move on to the so another problem i think it is very uh, clear-cut information okay so they are hiding the number of uh, uh, carbonyl ligands but they are giving the like a total number of metal metal bonds as well as uh, like uh, electron contribution we know that electron contribution from 18 electron rule okay now let's look out uh, another problem So here, this is also similar kind of problem. So that is the problem number nine. So they are given the like uh, some hiding number of uh, carbon ligands. Same kind of problem. Okay. So eta phi, C phi, H phi. Okay. So W, that is the tungsten, CO x times. So here taking twice. So they are mentioned the metal metal bonds is equal to the one. So this is the inside information. Okay. So now let's calculate the same problem, same uh, like a similar kind of problem. So how many carbonyl ligands are present? How many carbonyl ligands are present? So according to our previous method, so one CP ligands contributes five electrons and the tungsten comes under chromium family, S1D5, chromium, molybdenum, tungsten. That means uh, here six outermost electrons are there, six into like each carbonyl contributes two electrons, uh, two into X, two into X, uh, totally it is uh, multiplied by the two totally it is multiplied by the two plus metal metal bonds is equal to the so two metals it contributes 36 electrons two metals it contributes 36 electrons so two fives are plus two six are plus two twos are four x so plus metal metal bond only one metal metal bond that is equal to the two 36 okay so now two fives are 10 two six are 12 plus four x plus 2 is equal to 36 totally 10 plus 12 22 22 plus 12 uh, 22 plus 2 24 okay so 4x is equal to 36 minus 24 so 4x is equal to 12 so x is equal to 12 by 4 that is equal to the 3 so total number of metal met uh, sorry uh, total number of carbonyl ligands is equal to the 3 so then final system uh, final configuration is a c5hfi HFI. so tungsten co taken three times totally taken twice totally taken twice so these two are the like a uh, one kind of problems now let's look down at 10th and 11th problems 10th and 11th problem okay so this is also a different kind of problems now let's look down at 10th problem so that is nothing but a uh, so eta phi c phi hfi phi so m so along with that uh, three carbonyls are there so 
So totally it is a taken twice. Okay. So they are given the side information one metal metal bond. So then find the like a metal which metal is correctly suitable for this complex. Okay. So now they are given the like four options in case of competitive exam they are given the like multiple options. Okay. Now let's look out a uh, so simple solu solution of formula. Okay. So five five from CP and metal we don't know that is uh, taken as M like a uh, three carbonyls are there three two are six. So totally it was multiplied by the two. So plus metal metal bonds that is equal to the if two elect two metal system that is 36 or three metal system that is 54. So here they are given the two metals that is equal to the 36. Okay. So two fives are 10 plus a two into m two metals two six are 12. So plus metal metal bond one bond is equal to the two 36. Okay, so two phi are ten plus a two young two metals twelve plus two is equal to thirty six. So ten plus twelve twenty two twenty two plus two twenty four. Okay, so two metals is equal to thirty six minus twenty four. So two metals is equal to twelve. So two metal is equal to six. If two metals is equal to the twelve electrons, so then single metal is equal to six outermost electrons. So according to uh, like uh, scandium, titanium, vanadium, chromium manganese like iron these series they are given the like data s2 d2 sorry s2 d1 s2 d2 s2 d3 like s1 d5 s2 d5 s2 d6 okay so we will get the six outermost electron that is nothing but s1 d5 so this is a family of chromium metal so here it is uh, suitably replaced by the like a uh, chromium series uh, chromium triads whatever the ligia okay either chromium or molybdenum or tungsten so it is a uh, simply suitable for it is uh, substituted by the chromium okay so if m is equal to maybe chromium or molybdenum or tungsten so other than that we cannot uh, substitute those other uh, other metals other transition metals so this is the problem number 10 now let's look down at uh, the final problem, very interesting problem. Okay, so these are the very like a uh, simple problems. So now that's why I'll go through the very speed manner. Okay, so eleventh problem. So that is nothing but so eta phi CP taken thrice, nickel three times, like a uh, muta three. That means a uh, these carbonyls was contributed by the three metal atoms so it was attached by the three metal atoms total power x so they are asking about the charge on the complex okay so if they are given the like in, uh, internal information that is a uh, nickel nickel it having the three metal metal bonds okay so they are given the metal metal bonds as well as a total complex so they are asking about uh, finding the total charge on the complex finding the just the total charge on the complex now let's look down uh, the simple simple method so whatever the whatever the problem we will go through this uh, like a simple method of uh, 18 electron rule calculation so here three cps are there that means uh, three into five plus so three nickel atoms are there nickel means s2 d8 so each one is a 10 electron so three into 10 okay so plus uh, whatever the ligand uh, uh, like a bridged uh, bridged uh, mu2 or mu3 doesn't matter so it contributes only two electrons so two plus are four so again plus metal metal bonds is equal to the totally so it is the three metals so three metals is equal to the 15 54 atoms so three metals it is equal to the 54 so now they are asking about a charge they are asking about charge that is also in, inserted in the like uh, left side why because so if charge is uh, minus it is added to the left side if charge is plus it is uh, subtracted from the left side on only okay now let's uh, solve the problem so x plus 3 phi is a 15 plus 30 plus a 4 plus a metal metal bonds a 3 metal metal bonds are there that is equal to the 6 uh, so here 54 here it is the 54 x plus 45 plus 4 49 49 plus 6 that is equal to the 55 so 55 is equal to the 54 so x is equal to 54 minus 55 so that is equal to the minus 1 so x is equal to the minus 1 total charge on the complex eta phi simply eta phi cp taken three times nickel taken three times that is a mu 3 co taken two times total Li power minus one so this is the, the total complex of the hiding solution 11th one okay so th these are the very simple uh, problems regarding to the uh, finding of uh, our prediction of metal metal bonds in organometallic compounds again now i'll give the some of the simple trick to find the metal metal bonds uh, according to the ajay kumar uh, ajay kumar textbook okay so if we know that the total valency electrons so 
uh, that and the like uh, metal metal bond so simply we will calculate the x that is equal to the x if x is equal to per atom if x we will get the uh, 34 per 2 atoms 34 per per 2 atoms so if 34 per 2 atoms uh, simply uh, a single atom a single metal it gets a 17 if we will get the like uh, 48 if we will get the three metals of 48 so that is equal to the 16 per atom 16 per metal okay so per single metal we will get the either 17 or 16 or 15 like that okay so if 18 if 18 per single atom if 18 is present per single metal so if 18 is present there is no metal metal bond there is no metal metal bond if 17 is present one metal metal bond one metal metal bond if 16 is present two metal metal bond two metal metal bond if 15 is present three metal metal bonds okay this is a very simple prediction regarding to the uh, like a total number of metal metal bonds based on the per atom calculations now let's uh, uh, solve the one problem for its like a very simplicity okay now let's look down the problem number one or two whatever it may be okay so in case of problem number one so that is the uh, mn2 co taken 10 times okay co taken 10 times so here uh, two sevens are 14 so 10 twos are 20 so totally 34 electrons are for the total valency electrons so if 34 per two atoms now what about a single atom so if a single metal so 34 by 2 so how many metals are there that is, is that is equal to the so x by 2 or x by n okay so if we will get the x by n x by n Okay, we will get the x by n. 34 by 2, that is equal to the 7, 17, sorry, that is equal to the 17. If x by n value is equal to the 17, then one metal metal bond is present. That is also proved by the, like a simple method, 36 minus 34 by 2, 2 by 2, one metal metal bond. Okay, so for sake of simplicity, if we get the x by n value is equal to the 18, then there is no metal metal bond. And the x by n value is equal to 17, there is one metal metal bond. If x by n value is equal to 16, then two metal metal bond. If x by n value is equal to 15, three metal metal bond is observed. So in the case of uh, either tetranuclear or trinuclear or binuclear, so whatever the case, we will get the similar kind of metal metal bonds not the mononuclear okay so tetra or tri are uh, like a um, tetra tri or binuclear compound uh, complexes okay so that's all for this video i think it is very helpful for you guys if you like the video please share and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching